everybody. I'm C. Connick, Pan Science Producer for the PBS News Hour. I've worked at PBS News Hour for about three years. Before the News Hour, I was a, I was a scientist. I got my PhD in pathobiology and molecular medicine from Columbia University, uh, where I studied drug treatments for stroke and Alzheimer's disease. The placebo response is a really interesting um, phenomenon in medicine, right? It's this idea that, that captivates because it suggests that the human body can, can treat itself. You know, in, in many drug um, clinical trials, placebo responses can cause up to 30% of effect of a drug. So the idea to go down and do this story in Mexico came from Eric Vance's book, Suggestible You. Um, he had been all over the world looking at placebo responses in, in traditional medicine. So we went down to the Sierra Mazteca mountain range in Oaxaca, Mexico, sort of on the southeast corner of the, of the country, to look at indigenous practices that have been around for, for centuries. Uh, these days, they sort of mix with Christian beliefs, and so you have this really interesting intersection between faith-based healing and, and traditional culture. In this town, we, you know, we were actually being treated by faith healers. We, we went on these long hikes uh, along mountain ranges um, to these altars where we were being blessed. Uh, Eric stuck his arm in an ant hill. Um, I had a curandero um, cleanse my spirit using a mixture of eggs and water, which he then spat in my face. All of this, what it does is sort of creates like a distraction. It creates a, a theater of medicine that allows your mind to open up its you know, internal medicine cabinet. So you know, our bodies create all types of drugs like opioids, like appetite regulating hormones, all types of pain relievers to heal ourselves. And what we found when we went to the University of Maryland to talk to some neuroscientists is that you can actually sort of control these placebo responses, right? The placebo response is no longer this mysterious thing factoring into to medicine. We're starting to really learn um, what causes it and why it's important.